So so Steve Simmons of the Toronto Sun, if you've missed this, Steve Simmons of the Toronto Sun reported right after Hawk and Paw was signed that um, Dallas was surprised that he was signed mm-hmm. because uh, they didn't think he was going to play hockey again. And multiple teams around the league were surprised because they didn't think he was going to play hockey again. Something to do with cartilage and bone on bone in his knee, which sounds really painful. Final game of the season this past year was March 16th, and then he didn't play for the rest of the year and missed the playoffs. So... You know, I mean, there are there are, from what I understand, ways around that. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I think they've they, they do they're trying out material that to replace cartilage and things. Good like that. lord! But you know, it hasn't gone exactly well. Cartilage is a very specific thing. I'm so fascinated by all that. Are you? Like, well, I listened to. I want to say it was 32 Thoughts did a full episode with a doctor who does the disc replacement surgery mm-hmm. that Jack Eichel got in his neck <clears throat> and my neck's killing me. <laughs> so, right. And, and I'm getting older. And so, so you it'll know, definitely get better. Well, <laughs> like, it just interests me. Like, and it's also just technology. And I find that interesting. Um, the reason they're able to do it is because your neck, the discs in your neck are not load bearing. They don't have to carry an immense amount of weight, which is why they can't do it in your low back yet, because that is load bearing. Boy, your knees, carry a lot of load <laughs> they sure do. so i i have no idea how that would work but all of that synthetic body part stuff or whatever you want to call it like all of that is enormously fascinating to me not just for athletics it's just quality of life sure well and a lot of the good surgeries that or the normal surgeries that people get on their knees and hips and shoulders and everything else came from athletics Right. Of it's course. like it's like why a lot of a lot of the stuff we see in our road cars came from car racing. You know, you, it, it's what pushes the limits of whatever thing it's in. So I think it, the difference is if I get that surgery, like a hip surgery that an NHL player gets, my doctor would be like, all right, so like, don't do anything for six months <laughs> yeah. no, or like ever. Yeah. General. Here's Brad Go for lots of walks. <laughs> Here's Brad for living. You guys are talking about him talking about Yanni Hockenpah. I tracked it down. Here is it, him on his July 1st media availability talking about Hockenpah. You're the best. No, never mind. You're the worst. Uh, 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 bring him in, there we go. in the go. fold. I thought was, was, um, so, you know, bringing him into the, into the fold, I thought was, was, um, we were excited about that. And then, um, and I'm just speaking specifically on the back end, um, uh, with Hawk and Paw, again, a penalty killer. One of the areas, um, looking back at last season that we wanted to address was our penalty kill. And, uh, you know, so that, that's an area that, that Yanni, um, you know, really shines in is, is his ability to kill penalties. You saw that in Dallas, uh, over the years and specifically this past season, um, you know, and, and what we've got right now is we've got a, you know, we've got a group of defensemen. And so we'll, we'll, I'd rather have too many than not enough. Um, and we'll try to sort this out. So th- he was going through all the signings. Is and- he in an elevator? <laughs> I, he's somewhere in the lease. And that's such a, that, that is such a boomer camera angle, by the way. Yeah, he's <laughs> Like, why does nobody get him a stack of books and get him eye level? He's on God Zoom sake. in a boardroom. That's a boardroom. You're the board. Toronto Maple Leaf. Yeah. So he was going through, like, that was the b- very beginning of his media veil before, like, any questions or anything like that. And he just talks about all the signings. And one of them is Hawking Bodies. Like, he's going to be useful on the penalty kill. But the signing doesn't exist yet. And this is <laughs> it, this is very rare because he He's not listed on the Leafs roster at all. No. Yesterday, they updated their roster like that when they signed Mermis and Myers and uh, Paré. Uh, Hockenpah is not there. He is represented on the um, Leafs cap-friendly page. And Which isn't official. It's not official, but interestingly enough, the Leafs are over the cap by roughly Yanni Hockenpah's cap hit. Hmm. There's something going on with either the medicals, which they're... Steve Simmons has reported about you talked about that or just it hasn't been filed with central registry yet because of the cap situation. Yeah. You know, there's something going on behind the scenes where it's not official with central registry. See, the, the cap situation, they're they're able to go over the cap by like eight mm-hmm. million, eight point eight million, I think, is the number. So like it wouldn't be that. Right. But and then the the filing with central registry and making it official also kind of can tie into the medicals. Because right. until they get the official sign off on everything, you know, it's not going to be official. So it's not done yet. Because I saw some scary. people say, oh, yeah, they'll just LTIR. I'm like, I don't think that's allowed. No. You can't just. G- Klingberg is one thing. 
if uh, he's a guy with an injury history, he gives it the old college try and gets in the lineup for 14 games, and then it turns out he can't do it. You put him on LTIR. Fine. If Hawk and Puck can just never play again, they're not going to be like, oh, yeah, that's fine. Right. Oh, but, yeah, just LTIR that. Don't he worry about get it. The contract. Like, this isn't going to be filed if he can't play hockey. Yes. So I think, yeah, it's definitely, I think, more of that side yeah. than opposed to like cap situation. Because, yeah, you can be over the cap in, in the summer. All right. that stuff Frank Sorelli was talking about, like cap circumvention, we were all like, ah, blow it up your nose. <laughs> no, no, like that's cap circumvention. You can't do that. <laughs> sign a guy who can't play. Yeah. 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 It's one thing if they have a pre existing contract and then you trade them to the Coyotes, like mm -hmm. what happened a thousand times. Happened with the Leafs, too. Um, you know, Clarkson and Horton going back. And Listen, forth. you can't just sign a, a as, free agent who's never going to play again. As I always say, if you're going to get upset about cap overages, you should get just as set upset as upset about cap underages. No. And the Coyotes for the last decade have cheated the NHL. They have not and fielded they a everyone. base level roster yep. because they have contracts like Datsuk and Pronger and whoever else they took on. And and, you know, because Pronger and Datsuk were Coyotes. Somehow, I don't think they ever once finished last place. Well, that's their biggest failing then. Uh, <laughs> should get a first overall pick. Way to win, somewhere. losers. Now, uh, so Yanni Hockenpah, we'll, we'll see what happens over the next few days, but it seems like he's playing at this point. And that, you know, what well, he does. It doesn't. I don't think it does. <laughs> I, think he, I think he is. I think he's playing. I, I think know. he's playing. I I, listen, know. listen, I Steve know. Simmons is, you can, you can, you can have your disagreements with Steve Simmons' opinion, and I often have. Uh, the guy's really connected. I don't think that comes out of nowhere. Exactly. Well, that's why I'm a little skeptical on I think Hawk and Paw's health. People were pointing out um, him disclosing that Austin Matthews had COVID way back when. And bad business. Yeah. Well, they're saying it, though. It is bad business. I agree. But they're saying it like he was wrong about it. No, that wasn't the main criticism of it. Right. It certainly wasn't that he was wrong about it. It's that it wasn't nice to say. Um, so That's a great point. I have no reason to be like, oh, well, he's lying then, mm -hmm. or he's his source is wrong. Um, the fact that they haven't announced this to me says and there's legitimate concern. It might not get done. Third, and the GM spoke two out uh, two days ago yeah. about this. It's weird. I will say this: that some people were like, oh, well, Philippe Myers signed. That must mean something about Hawking, but I don't think they're related at all. Mm. No, yeah, I, I think it's just. Oh, here's Mermis. Good depth. Myers, good depth. That Meyer, you don't go get like Yanni Hockenpah and Philly Myers are roughly the same size. They are not the same player. Like, no, not exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yanni Hockenpah, though, if he is playing, uh, I love the fact. I love this for the Leafs because you are gonna have guys that are gonna get banged up and you're gonna need guys to step in.